Sketch another curve to show the results you might expect if this experiment were repeated at a temperature that was 10 degrees C colder. And label this graph C. So we've got one mark for this question. So this, this question here is referred to the graph in the previous question. Uh, so we're going to do it 10 degrees colder. So this, uh, this graph in the previous question was about, let's just remind ourselves, uh, magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid and the acid being in excess. Uh, it's going to produce hydrogen gas, um, which we've just been told, and the volume of hydrogen is being measured with a gas syringe. Okay, so it's ten, same experiment, but 10 degrees colder. So we have to ask ourselves two questions for this. Uh, the first question is, uh, is our initial rate going to be steeper uh, or less steep, the gradient of the initial curve? Is it going to be steeper or less steep? So is it going to be a faster rate or a slower rate? Well, this is 10 degrees colder, so that's going to be slower. So if it's slower, our curve is going to start uh, less steep. So it's going to start off like that. So that's the first thing we need to draw on there, a less steep curve. Okay. Now the second question we have to ask ourselves is where is it going to finish? Okay. In other words, are we going to get the same amount of gas, more gas or less gas? So the question here is, has the number of particles changed uh, in this reaction? So we're doing exactly the same particles, we're just doing it colder, so therefore the number of particles is unchanged. So lots of students, because they're starting off uh, shallower here, will, will end up with less gas, and that's obviously nonsense, okay? Uh, because we're starting with the same amount of particles, we're starting with the same amount of acid and the same amount of magnesium. So it's got to finish at the same place. It's going to take longer to get there, but it's got to finish at the same place for, that mark, for us to get that mark. So slower and finishing roughly the same place. Okay, and that we can label that curve C. All these questions and more on elshamhighchemistry.com.